Uh, our good friend Megan Mayo actually brought us this next performer. You might have seen her here recently making me do this. But uh, she sent her friend, ladies and gentlemen, Byron. Thank you. Good evening, good ass people. This is the definitely the affirmative action portion of the show. I promise you, no matter what you think, I am not the little boy from the Bernie Mac show. And the re and because you laugh, that's the reason why that little bastard is ruining my life. Thank you. I want to tell y'all a little something. I'm from Mississippi, and I graduated from college, and I was fortunate enough to make it out of poverty, so it's things I don't have to worry about anymore. I don't have to worry about gangs. I don't have to worry about murders and drive-bys. I don't have to worry about raggedy homes. I got real stuff I got to worry about now. I got to worry about the mafia. <laughs> y'all might know them as the Homeowners Association. My homeowners association gets on my damn nerves. They send me letters like every two weeks and they let us go a little something like this. Dear petite Negro in our neighborhood. <laughs> it gets worse. <laughs> With the bald head and the dirty glasses. We've noticed that your fence is really ragged and it needs to be restained. We suggest that we, you restain your friends within the next week, or else we've kidnapped your two kids, Jaquantarius and Aquafina. <laughs> Jaquantarius and Aquafina are here playing Xbox on your flat screen TV. And I just read that letter and I started crying. Because all I could think about was my homeowners association had taken my two prized possessions. <laughs> my Xbox and my flat screen TV. It's tough in these suburban streets. It's so real. Life was so easy when I was living in the projects. Back in those days, all I had to worry about was weed and crackheads. Now I got to worry about keeping weeds out my flower bed. <laughs> it's tough. When I lived in the projects, you could just throw a pissy mattress by the garbage can. Nobody said a word. In the suburbs, I dare you throw a pissy mattress out by the garbage can. And you don't put no polo sheets on them. It's tough in these suburban streets. I like y'all. I like y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to tell y'all something else. Racism is old fashioned. Classism is the new racism. You damn right. The, the color of your skin is not as important as how much money you make, what type of car you drive, what type of house you live in. I kick it with way more white dudes from the trailer park than I kick it with balling ass black dudes making it rain in the club. That's because those white dudes from the trailer park don't judge me when we playing Super Nintendo on my 13-inch screen TV. That's because the Homeowners Association got my flat screen TV. <laughs> there we go. I got water for everybody. <laughs> and on that same token, my self-esteem is just crushed when I go to the club with my ball and black friends that got on these expensive Ed Hardy shirts, true, true religion jeans. My self-esteem is just crushed when I go in the club and, my, and I got on a Bugle Boy shirt. <laughs> I'm trying to have fun, party with people. I'm getting stupid questions like, are those Bugle Boy jeans you're wearing? I'm like, hell no, these Jordash. <laughs> I might keep that joke. <laughs> OK. I hear, people, I hear guys all the time talking about how they proud to be a mama's boy. Well, I'm standing in front of y'all proud right now to say, I'm a deadbeat daddy's boy. I love my deadbeat daddy to death. That's because every time I saw him, whatever he did for me, it was definitely a photo opportunity. <laughs> my dad and I, we'd be at the football game or something. He'd be like, son, you got to go. Look at you, you got, let's tie your shoe, son. What's wrong? Let's go tie your shoe, Byron. Excuse me, could you take a picture real quick?
I'm standing there, I'm standing there like. <laughs> Everything he did for me was huge. He had to get proof that he was taking care of his kids. Oh, you got to go to the bathroom, son? Don't forget, let's go wash your hands, all right? Get some soap. <laughs> Smile, damn it. I'm standing. That was me right there. I need to work on that part. Everything he did for me was important. Even when he couldn't do nothing for me, it was important. Oh, you, <laughs> you want to get some new Jordans? I don't have any money, son, but... You know, do what you got to do. Tough it out. You can, you can make with those shoes you have for three years. All right? Excuse me, could you take a picture? <laughs> I'm standing there like. Aww. But since I'm a deadbeat daddy's boy, you know I've grown up to be a deadbeat daddy's son. I invite my dad every year to take the family pictures for Christmas. My dad come in, family get together, me, my mom, my sisters, my aunt. My dad coming already. Y'all ready to take this picture? I'm like, yeah, dad. Could you take this picture for us? <laughs> On the count of three, everybody say, Negro, please. <laughs> Negro, please. <laughs> I'm going to do one more. I'm going to get out of here. I think we got five minutes, right? Okay. Um, I know y'all looking at me, I'm all sexy, and my physique is real nice. And... <laughs> Stop lying. I don't go to the gym. It's too much grunting and yelling when you go to the gym. As soon as you walk in the gym, it's, uh, uh, and that's the damn lady at the water fountain. <laughs> I can't lift with anybody because all the dudes trying to out yell each other on the bench press. First dude get down on the bench, he's all, uh, uh, uh. I get down on the bench, I'm like, ah, ah, I need some damn help, man. Don't you see me trying to lift this 80 pounds, Fabio? Stop putting baby oil on your chest. <laughs> but the sad thing about it is gym guys are gym guys all the time. I saw a gym dude at the club last week. People were in there doing a the stanky leg, cha-cha slide, waltz for all the old people in the building. <laughs> This dude was in there doing his own thing. He was dancing his butt off. He was in there just. Y'all so silly. My name is Byron Stamps. Y'all enjoy the rest of the show.